this trip. Bordeaux, the visitors, and seven of the players in this match can expect to be involved in France's European Championship qualifying match against Romania. Carambo, Pedros, Quedek, and uh, Loco from Nantes. Lizarazu, Zidane, and Dugari from Bordeaux. And as one would expect, it was uh, Nantes who currently topped the French League, who made a lot of the early running. And the players to watch out for for them, Nicolas Quedek, number nine, who's uh, so influential at set pieces and went close again. Patrice Loco wears 11, and Jafet Enderham, who wears 10. Well, the game had uh, been 38 minutes old before we would have the first goal. Loco uh, here brought down rather emphatically. It was a very late challenge, and uh, to be quite honest, uh, I was amazed that uh, the defender, Senak, the captain, stayed on the field. Then came the opening goal. It was a bit lucky, but Pignol won't care about that. Christophe Pignol opening the scoring for Nantes after 38 minutes, giving who had very little chance. It took a deflection, he was unsighted, it crept in the corner. Bordeaux must have uh, fancied their chances as not failed to take these clear-cut opportunities. And with quality players like Zidane given opportunities, there was a great moment here, but the goal was disallowed for a foul. When you see the replay, one really does feel rather sorry for uh, Dugarry. I think that he was harshly treated here. He knocked it home, and that goal, in my view, should have stood. Well, Dugarry was to be one of the key figures in this match, which really exploded into life only in the last 20 minutes. And what a thriller it turned out to be. Enderam finding Pedros in the centre and making no mistake with the finish was Nicholas Quedek, his seventh goal of the season after 69 minutes. The point's safe now for Nantes, or at least you'd have thought so. Great play from Pedros, Quedek with the simple task of finishing it off. Nantes did have more chances, but uh, Bordeaux then suddenly crept back into the game. 15 minutes left, there's still two goals behind, and then came the finish from Fofana. One has to query Casagrande's position. When you see it from behind the goal, this angle tells the real story. Beaten at the near post, he'll be desperately disappointed by that. Alele Nantes is the cry from the terraces, but they were to be stunned when just three minutes later, the game had another twist. This time, it was 2-2. Zidane kept his nerve, beat Casagrande easily, and Bordeaux had come back from oblivion. Great finish, but where was the central defensing marking? And certainly other clubs in France will take great heart from that. Well, the scoring looked to have been complete as we came to the 88th minute. But again, Pestros was the instigator. Enderham had a shot on goal. Now, was that a penalty? Well, certainly the reaction from uh, Kalian Huard, the goalkeeper from Bordeaux, suggested it wasn't. His reaction sparked off, swearing for certain. He took his shirt off in disgust calling the referee a cheat and that wasn't the only thing he said he was sent off the penalty stood and not surely had an opportunity to win the game as Perez went in goal Enderam stepped up and one felt that Nantes had got let off 3-2 Bordeaux down to 10 men who are sent off Enderam with the penalty 3-2 Nantes and this thriller could it yet have a final say well, I've seen many great goals, but the two that we're about to see in the next five minutes here on Eurogoals take some beating. How about that for a volley from Christophe Ducari? Inside stoppage time, his fourth goal of the season. Lizarazu flighting an inviting ball forward, but didn't Ducari catch this magnificently? What a goal! One of the goals of this or any other season. Nantes 3, Bordeaux 3, and that was the classic end to a brilliant match. A point apiece hardly tells the story. Both sets of supporters who witnessed this one must have enjoyed it. A thriller between Nantes and Bordeaux.